Well, here you go. You learn something new every day. In the path of cataclysmic floods, you are standing in the pathway of some of the largest floods ever known. They carved the steep walled canyons, sculptured immense waterfalls, and left behind landscape found nowhere else on Earth. Right. So what they say is, during the last ice age, a lobe of ice at least half a mile deep blocked the uh, Clark Fork River in Idaho. I've got to go there sometime, and created an enormous, um, created an enormous lake called Glacial Lake Missoula. So if we look here, this is the ice dam, and this is Glacial Lake Missoula. So this presumably filled up time and time again, uh, and then come spring or whatever, this this uh, failed, and basically the the whole flood came down here. And what is normal with these drainage channels, these flood drainage channels, is they tend to be one, it's more or less straight, this is comparatively straight, um, compared to the sort of, if you, if, if you get slow meandering rivers, they tend to wind a lot. Um, drainage channels, fast drainage channels tend to be remarkably straight and they also don't have all of the uh, side channels which is why um, here um, thundering torrents of ice and mud race through the Columbia Gorge at up to 60 miles an hour that's incredibly fast and stripped away uh, rocks leaving many streams hanging above the river creating one of the world's largest world's greatest concentration of waterfalls which is of course what we saw on the other side of the valley there and this is, of course, why when creationists say that the Grand Canyon is a sort of similar sort of massive drainage channel, you sort of laugh because the Grand Canyon has all these sort of dendritic things feeding into it from the side. It looks nothing like a flood drainage channel, which is, you know, more or less what we saw here is just one channel um, with steep walls. Anyway, so you are standing in the pathway of some of the greatest floods ever known gives you that speaking rock which I was just on top of. So congratulations America you have impressed me once again. Oops. Okay so where to now? Well we are just about there and this is the amazing thing is Beacon Rock isn't even marked on this map. Yeah and it's absolutely fantastic place. Um, anyway um, what to do now? Well I've more or less decided when I was coming down that I'm going to come down to Columbia for a bit and see if I can find a place where I can get a nice time lapse of sunset. wanted to climb Mount Hood. That's the big ass volcano you can see when you're driving down this road to Portland. Uh, well, I mean, with all of these volcanoes, you get fantastic views from them from, um, you know, over 100 miles away. Anyway, so, then at some point I want to get over to the coast, because this area of the coast is absolutely fantastic. Um, and then I want to come back across to Crater Lake which is another one of the Cascades, but this is one that blew up and filled up with a lake. But that's got some really, not only is it a pretty place, it's got some good geology to it too. And then there are some caves down here somewhere. What are the caves? There we go, Oregon Caves National Monument. Okay, so, but the other thing is, I think the new moon is coming up, it, we're, we're only a couple of days from the new moon, and Crater Lake's got a good horizon on the rim, and it's about 7,000 feet, so it's got good altitude, so it'll probably have fairly clear skies. Uh, it's always a bit of a running the gauntlet about if you're running into ranges and whether they're going to be understanding to your cause or not, but, you know, you take your chances. I mean, the, 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 the alternative is, um, from there, <laughs> the, the desert's over, down, down there somewhere, so, 
that's an awful long drive for the clear sky. So I'm, I'm hopefully going to um, go down to Crater Lake where we will see if we can get some decent views of the universe. Okay, it's just by the roadside in Stevenson. And that is three osprey or birds of prey of some sort. There we go. Mommy, Daddy and a chick. Kind of neat, eh? I think that's baby trying to uh, stretch his wings. You can do it. You can do it. Just getting the feel of what flapping feels like, eh? 